Hello everybody and welcome back to Diamatic Gaming Channel. Today we're looking at Silent Hill 3 uh, Lost Memories E3 Trial Demo, uh, the Japanese version this is. Uh, just an E3 version release of the game. Just kind of like a demo to show what the game is capable of. I'm just going to skip all that stuff here. So this is the main menu and you can go in the options here. There's not much to change. This is the uh, settings of the controllers. Subtitles, I usually turn those on. Turn it on hard, I guess. So I'm using a DualShock 4 controller for this. Uh, you can set the action level easy, normal, or hard. So I'm gonna hit hard for now. So I don't have a widescreen hack for this. So. I couldn't really get one or find one. Nightmarish delusions come to life. So yeah, you start you spawn here. Oh no, not again. Did she do this too? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep the character here for a moment because uh, it will reset and go back to the main menu and if I restart the game and hit new game it'll actually uh, spawn me with a dis different costume on. You can also do this a lot faster if you hold select and push start at the same time it'll just reset the game to the main menu. I didn't know that though until later on so this goes back to the main menu and you just start the game normally here. I'm going to turn the subtitles on every time before I go back in. Different loading screen as well. I'm not too sure if that's being invaded by the other because a different costume or what. World of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. So you spawn with the Heather costume. Oh no, not again. Did she do this too? So yeah, you can actually zoom in if you push the uh, left joystick in on the DualShock controller. It zooms in even further when you're on your aiming mode. And of course the right DualShock controller stick, uh, you can move your camera around. So there's not really much difference from the uh, one of the PSN PlayStation magazine, sorry, PSM um, demo version or trial versions of Silent Hill 3. That was released. The uh, it's basically the same game. This one. So I'm just doing the controls here. Uh, yeah, map here is triangle. Or yeah, triangle. If you hold square in, it'll actually have a. Uh, the dash thing she steps back so if you unequipped the shirt you just go back to the default clothing and yeah you spawn on with all this stuff here anyways and the trial version here the e3 version and you spawn with these weapons so yeah, the sounds are very loud. Uh, it's almost peaking, but it's just the sound effects. Uh, it's supposed to be like that. And 
and I just hit restart, restart. So I pushed the uh, start and select at the same time to go back to the main menu. Uh, just because I want to spawn with a different costume. So there's three different costumes in this. Uh, that you can spawn with if, every time you restart. So you'll restart, you'll have your, your normal costume, and then you have to restart again, then you'll have the, the costume that, like a different costume basically. So I spawn in here, I have the default clothing, there's no costume, anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to hit restart again, and then when I spawn in again, I'll have uh, the golden rooster costume. So start and select, and it'll just restart the game. Actually, start select, there we go. Subtitles on. Different loading screen here, and it's being invaded by should have the uh, golden rooster costume this time. Nightmarish delusions come to life. So. Yeah, you'll spawn with this costume, and then if you reset it again, you'll have the default clothing with no costume. And then you have to reset it again, and then you'll actually have a different costume. So this one's the golden rooster costume here. Oh no, not again. <sighs> Did she do this too? And I'm not going to play with this costume. I'm just going to restart it here. And yeah, so I'm just going to restart it here. Start and select at the same time. Um, I just went through the menus and I continued recording from here anyway. So I just cut it out the menus and stuff like that again. I wanted to spawn in with the don't touch uh, t-shirt here. Or not t-shirt, but tank top, I guess. So this is the third and final costume. That is in this E3 trial version. Oh no, not again. <sighs> Did she do this too? Yeah, so Silent Hill 3 is my actually one of my favorite Silent Hill games apart from Silent Hill 1. I do like Silent Hill 2 a lot as well, but I think Silent Hill 3 might be my most favorite Silent Hill game. Um, I don't know, just the characters, interesting, the development of the story continues. And of course, it like the graphics, I like the graphics a lot. So yeah, there's quick turn if you push R1 and L1 at the same time. Uh, this is if you hold square, does the circle turns off the flashlight and turns it back on. So square is the back dash, and R2 is for aiming. I never actually played this on the PlayStation 3. I do own it for PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2. But I never played it. I only ever played it and beat it on a PC so that I can go in and hack all the settings and make the widescreen and HD and stuff like that. And of course, I don't know, I don't know, I might play the PlayStation 3 and play the HD collection, but I I wouldn't really want to because I do like the voice acting in this and the other changes of voice acting the sound of the HD collection. There's some issues with the uh, porting it back over to fixing it up the development team. Right? I guess they didn't have the final version. That plan reminds me of Resident Evil, I'm not sure. That's deliberate or what? So it's kind of hard to access this note. It's weird. You have to get the right angle. And 
you cannot save it in this. Yeah, so the don't touch costume. I can't, I don't know what it says on the back. A lot of people don't really know. It's a bit too blurry. I think it says we killed it, learn and be. A lot of people say like we kicked it, learn and be, but I think it's killed. Heather, that's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Yeah, they did a great Don't job of the motion thing. capture. I'm on your side. I think it was the original voice actors that so did do say, the motion capture. I'm not I too sure. I know it her. was in Silent Hill 2, but... Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Well, I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? They really Don't had to push remember? the limitations of the PlayStation 2 with so all the post-processing effects, grain, and tell you anything. dynamic shadows and everything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this! Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy! Doesn't this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. Yeah, so I'd say Silent Hill 3 is easily one of my like favorite Silent Hill games. The writing is really good, and uh, the character Heather has so much personality. Which is different, you don't see it in a survival horror game too often. Yeah, so if you equip the bulletproof vest, you will run and walk slower. That's the only thing. Yeah, since I don't have a widescreen hack or anything, 
character models and everything that look kind of squished and weird. It's really weird. I didn't really feel like going in and using a hex editor to edit anything. I mean, I did it when I did play the full game on the PC, but PlayStation's a bit different. I would, yeah, highly recommend playing it on the PC. The PC version is really good with the the hacks and everything, because it has the original voice actors. And yeah, it's just great. Yeah, what I like to do in Silent Hill games is go to every single door and uh, be able to look at the map and scratch everything off. Even though I may know where I have to go, I just like to complete everything, like all the different doors and stuff. So I go to the fridge here. I don't know if this camera angle is new or not, or if it was removed from the final game, but uh, I saw some people play it on YouTube and that low angle of the fridge wasn't in their videos for some reason. But it could be, I'm not sure. This is the E3 trial version, so I don't know. too sure what's different other than most of the doors being locked and you can't really progress the game and uh, you spawn with most of the items Yeah, when I aimed the gun at it there, the static noise got louder, which is interesting. The sound design on this game is one of the best, I can say. Um, every weird, different sound to make the game feel more creepy. They did a great job. Yeah, so that's every door there I opened. Trying to go floor by floor here. Can't go to three. Gotta go to four. So in hard mode, you can actually fall down these. I'm not too sure about normal. Uh, I did put it on normal, so. And it does kill you if you fall down there.
So there's nothing else on this floor. Yeah, the sound design, like that sound there, it's like random and it's scary, which is nice. Brings a lot of atmosphere to this game. Yeah, so this is the only puzzle that's in this version of the game anyways, and this leads to the end. So all you have to do is combine the liver I picked up from the fridge, the ox doll from the cabinet, and the matches. So you can't mix two items together, you have to combine all three of them.
So that's the end of Silent Hill E3 Trial Edition, or Trial Edition E3 Lost Memories. Um, so comment, like, subscribe, we'll see you again soon, and I'll have some more videos coming up.